recent years, we've been noticing a lot of sharks with these deep gashes and scars on their back. They're propeller scars. So with more sharks along our coast and a lot of boat activity, we think a lot more sharks are getting hit by these boats. So one of the things we've learned using some of our technology is that during part of the day, sharks actually go into what we think is like a sleep or resting state. And that resting state is either swimming in a really slow circle or swimming very slowly in a straight line. And at times we're able to drive right up next to them and jab a tag in them. And it almost seems like we wake them up. So we know based on our technology that these sharks are cruising around these beaches. And you can imagine a boat speeding through that area, catching one of these sharks off guard and actually hitting it. So when these sharks are in this sleep-like state, it's possible that swimmers or surfers actually bump into them, startling them and causing them to bite in defense. So if you're out swimming and it's really murky, you should be careful because those sharks, if they're in a nap-like state and you startle them, they might defend themselves by lashing out. So we've learned from our telemetry and all our tracking and drone studies that these nurseries put sharks within about 200 yards of the beach. So they're actually just outside the wave zone, but sometimes far enough out where boats are cruising. So this is where sharks like to hang out and sometimes where people like to drive fast in their boats. Now that we know where these nursery areas are and we know that sharks are there for weeks to months, we're gonna start advising the public anytime you're more than 500 yards within the shoreline and you're cruising around, you should go slow. That way you not only avoid people that might be swimming, that might be hard to see, but you also avoid hitting these napping sharks. As you can imagine, if you're cruising along in a good clip and you hit a shark, it's not only gonna do a lot of damage to that shark, but it can also do a lot of damage to your outboard and your prop. So, now that we know where these nurseries are and you know where the sharks are, just by slowing down, you can help keep sharks safe and your outboard running.